I want to press charges on my mother-in-law. I caught her snooping around looking at cameras, and you will not believe my husband's response when I say I want to press charges. To preface this, I just want to let it be known that yes, I know I overdo it with the camera system a bit. I have a ring doorbell along with many cameras in the living room, kitchen, and mine in my husband's bedroom. He knows about all the cameras, let me make that clear. He knows where they are, and he's okay with it. You see, about three years before we got together, and we've been together for five years now, I was at my apartment living by myself. Long story short, someone broke in. I tried to fight back and got the shit beat out of me and had all my prized possessions stolen. I was in the hospital for a few days and the guy was never caught. And ever since, I've had so much anxiety, hence the cameras. I'm in therapy and have been for two years now and I'm doing better. The cameras are a security blanket and my therapist thinks they're fine as they help me feel better without being intrusive. Anyways, on to what happened. My husband and I are staunchly child-free, and his mother hates it. She brought it up for years, and we told no every time. I thought she's finally given up of the idea, but I guess not. My husband and I were at work when we get a notification from the ring doorbell on my phone. My mother-in-law was at our house, and she had a spare key. I didn't give her one, that's for sure, she was supposed to be gone in another state visiting her sister, so I was confused and decided to check inside the cameras later. I got home before my husband, so I sit down and check the living room video to see what she went towards in the back room. I pull up the bedroom camera and find her snooping through our stuff. Important to note, we used to use condoms and birth control pills, but then I switched to an IUD. We still use condoms. The switch was recent, so I still had my old birth control pills on my nightstand. I see her shuffle around in my nightstand and pull out the pill case and leave the bedroom with them. I go and check and they're in the nightstand again, so she took them and returned them afterwards. I check the living room footage again and after going to my room, she goes to the kitchen. Kitchen footage shows her taking the birth control pills and putting them in the microwave. She heated them up for two minutes, then put them back where they belong. I was so furious because to me, it seems like she was tampering with my medication just to get me pregnant. I'm shocked she did not pull out a pen and start poking holes in the condoms too. When husband gets home, I show him the footage with all the timestamps, and he was reasonably upset too. So I told him I want to speak to a lawyer and maybe the cops for breaking and entering because we never gave her a key and I don't know how she got a copy. Husband was with me until that. Then he flipped on me and said that I'm being dramatic. I don't even use birth control pills anymore, so who cares? And accused me of trying to isolate him from his mother. He called me a jerk, packed his bag, and then went to go stay with his friend. It's been three days and he hasn't been back yet. What the heck do I do? Do I confront mother-in-law? Do I ignore husband and go to the lawyers or police still anyways? This feels batshit. I don't know why he's so mad at me when she's the one potentially committing crimes here. Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Redito here. Yeah, I know, this story is insane so far. Don't worry, I found the complete update for this. It did take a little digging, but here we are. If you're enjoying the story so far today, remember, the best way to support the channel is super simple. Press the like button and subscribe. Here comes the update. I'm going to try to keep this short. There isn't any good news. Tried calling my husband for another day before I finally gave up and called his friend to see who he was staying with. Finally, one told me he was staying with his mother. I called mother-in-law's landline and luckily he answered. I told him we did not have to talk face to face, otherwise I'll just go through with the divorce. He comes by, confesses he's staying with his mom and did not tell me because he knew 
I'd be mad. After some pushing, he admitted to making a copy of his key and giving it to his mom. He confessed to wanting children. I asked what about his dating profile. Way back when, it said child free. Why he put up an entitled front of no children with me for years, only to suddenly change his mind? He said it was because he saw how lonely his mom is and agrees now that we need kids to liven up holidays, to give her something to do, etc. As in, his sole reason now for having kids were for his mother. Not for his own, not a change of heart, just because his mom wanted grandbabies. He insisted, though, that he did not realize his mom would go this far. Which I do believe, because if they were plotting, then he would have told her I was no longer on birth control, and tampering with it would do nothing. He would have also told her not to break in because of the cameras. I packed his shit in a trash bag and kicked him out. Told him to go back to mommy's house and that my divorce lawyer will be on contact soon. At that point, I have not changed the locks. I wasn't sure of the legality of it and did not want to do something that could potentially hurt my chances in court. Besides, I did not think mother-in-law would show up again because she had her baby boy. Well, turns out I was completely wrong. She showed up later knocking and I pretended not to be home as my car was in the garage and she couldn't see it. She knocked for 15 minutes and I debated calling the police, but before I could, she entered the property with her key. I was furious and not going to lie, it gave me a flashback of my attack and I had a panic attack. I was inconsolable and crying. I ended up locking myself in the bathroom. She called me a soul crusher, heartless and a shitty wife along with some other colorful insults before finally leaving. It took like five hours to calm down. After that, I called my brother. He's staying with me now. He's changed the locks and he's helped me with contacting a lawyer and starting the divorce. Husband has been doing damage control and got to all the friends and family before I could and spun a bullshit lie that I was trying to isolate him from his mother that I'm making false police reports, etc. Yeah, sucks to say a majority believe him because, well, he was their friend first before me. But I was able to talk to a few of them and tell them my side of the story. Well, that's where I am. About to be divorced, honestly scared and upset. And am now doing two therapy sessions a week to try to work on all the progress that's been lost when soon-to-be ex-mother-in-law broke in again. I just can't believe mother-in-law would go this far. Let's take a look at a couple comments. Comment number one says, How is the husband spinning this when he knows OP has videos? She should post them everywhere. Comment two replies to that and says, Right? A nice stitched together video of door, bedroom, kitchen, bedroom. I'd email it to every freaking person. And then go file that police report. Comment 3 agrees. Says, right? A nice stitched together video. I check with the lawyer first though, just in case it could interfere with the criminal case against mother-in-law or the divorce. And if the lawyer gave me the go-ahead... I put some jaunty music over the video too. Alright guys, so let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this entire wild scenario. What would you do to mother-in-law if you were OP? What would you do to husband? Is divorce the only answer since basically trust was broken? I want to hear from you guys, so drop it down below and we're going to take uh, notice at our second story of the day. I, Mel26, just got cheated on and dumped by girlfriend. Have chance for revenge. Should I take it? Guys, when you find out what revenge this is, you won't believe it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, as we do daily videos, and let's hop into story number two. Some quick context. My girlfriend of two years had to drop out of university last October due to money issues. I helped her move to my city to start fresh. After a few months of living separately and saving, we moved into an apartment together and she got an awesome job offer. Things were looking great. 
Her new job requires her to attend a three-month training course on a campus in a different part of the country. She's two weeks into this course, and she just told me that she's ending our relationship because she started ducking another trainee. This means I now have to move out of our apartment because I can't afford to live here by myself. Whereas, she can. So, I've lost my girlfriend and my apartment, and naturally, I'm pretty pissed. However, I know that the training course she's on has a strict no-relationship policy amongst trainees, and is punishable by exclusion from the course. I'm contemplating sending an email to the company explaining the situation. I don't have any proof, but I'm sure if they monitored her, she would get caught out soon enough and sent home. I don't know whether or not to do it. I feel like she's just ruined my life. And as much as I'd like to walk away from this situation, part of me wants some payback. What do you guys think? Should I do this or is it karma? Here's an update. Turns out you're all indecisive as I am. I'm going for day drinking with my dad and we'll likely discuss this at length. We'll update later with my decision for anyone who gives a shit. Update 2. A lot of you guys asked for an update so here it is. Despite a lot of convincing points, I'm not gonna do it. She needed a lot of support to get to this point, financial, emotional, and otherwise. And without it, I think she's perfectly capable of ducking up this opportunity by herself. I'm going to keep the apartment even if it means I have to leave down the line. I want to put her through the stress of finding somewhere new to live whilst out of the city. Thanks for all the kind messages, and the edgy ones. A lot of you guys are wise as duck, and gave some good advice. Sorry to everyone that wanted revenge. Perfectly ready for you guys calling me boring or whatever. Life goes on. Honestly, I don't think their relationship was very healthy. If she was willing to just toss their relationship aside because she met someone new at a business conference. I don't know, it seems like she wasn't even in the relationship. Let's read a couple comments though. Comment 1. If your name's on the lease, look for some buddies to move in with. You shouldn't have to leave. If she starts her stuff, just say, you're cheated, and if you want me to go to your boss about the no relationship thing, get out of my face and get out of my house. There's always people looking for a place to live, and being petty is always fun. Plus, petty doesn't always result in bad karma. Comment 2 says, yeah, for real, make her leave and find a roommate. So guys, it's all looking like the comments were begging that OP took some sort of revenge. Let me know in the comment section down below, how would you handle this situation? Would you sit back and relax and say, you know what, maybe this was for the best, now I can get some roommates and I'm single? Or do you think OP should take some revenge? I know it sounds a little petty, but hey, sometimes revenge is worth it. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Remember, the two best ways hands down to support me, subscribe to the channel, comment on the video, and press that like button. All that stuff takes like 10 seconds. So if you enjoyed it, show some love. Guys, have a wonderful day, and remember, it's cool to be kind. Ah.